Hello everybody. It's December 27th, 2018 and I'm out here in my shop today. Um, going to try to do a uh, instructional kind of thing on how to... Um, going to go through this 1959 uh, Evinrude Fast Twin 18. Um, kind of do a step-by-step. -step. Uh, I've had several requests and uh, People asking me to do uh, how to's on various parts of the uh, mechanical tune up process, restoration process, uh, depending on what it is. This is just a tune up. Uh, this motor is mechanically uh, in very good condition. Now, I purchased this motor last February uh, on eBay from a local seller. Um, I paid $250 for this motor, uh, which is a lot for me. Um, but I was looking for a nice one of these, and this one is nice. Uh, it's electric start, which is not real common. Uh, I do have the cable for the starter, so that was a bonus. Um, the electric start part of this is kind of just uh, superfluous to what I'm actually doing here. Uh, I'll have to remove the starter to do the work on it, but the starter works. The electric start portion of the motor is is completely functional um, but I'm just kind of gonna kind of go through this one and uh, try to show you what I'm doing along the way so for starters um, the first thing I do when I get into these usually is to take the course take the cow cowl off and then uh, remove the recoil and the inspection plate from the flywheel to look inside and see the ignition just to see what I'm dealing with. Uh, I have done that with this one. I know that this still has original coils in it. Uh, still has original, or maybe not original, but very old uh, paper top condensers. Um, so as most of the motors that I work on get, this one is going to get the full uh, ignition system. Uh, it needs gonna need a fuel system, uh, new carb kit, new fuel line, new air line, clean the filter, uh, the whole works there. And when I get done with the top, or get started on the top end, I will, I have not pressure checked the gear case on this yet. I'll try to show how I do that. Um, I'll just try to kind of go through it step at a time. Uh, this is going to be several installments, I'm sure, because by the time I get done with uh, the first part, I'll have to shut it off and then I'll start the second segment uh, and then when I start I'll have to upload these in segments because they're going to be sort of long so anyway let's get started I'm going to pull the hood off of this and uh, take the rewind off and have a look and see what we have are hard I have the spark plug wires are off the plugs right now um, from last time I was just checking it over but anyway um, everything is here everything is hooked up um, nothing is apparently missing so that's a good thing I always like to start with a complete motor when I can although it doesn't always happen uh, grab a screwdriver off the bench here and let's take the rewind off that off and set it aside. There's an inspection cover right there on that flywheel. I don't know if that's very visible there. Let's try to zoom in on that a little. Uh, 
There you can see it. I'm going to take that plate off and we'll have a look inside. That inspection plate and screws and uh, set that over with the recoil. And let's just have a look inside. You can see the old red paper top condenser in there. And as we go a little bit farther, it's not focusing very well, but you can see that coil in there is nasty cracks. Big pieces broken out. That's an original 50s OMC coil. Another condenser paper top. And another broken coil. So, that's still got the original ignition in it, and as counterintuitive as sometimes it may sound, I really do like to find them that way. Uh, it means nobody's been into it and, and done anything uh, bad when they've tried to do a tune-up on it. So, it's always nice to find them original. Uh, I know when I go through it, then I've, I've done it the way I like it done, and... Uh, I don't have to try to undo what someone else has done. So now that we see what we've got to deal with here, the next thing will be to pull the flywheel. I'm going to stop this video and then the next one I will pull the flywheel and we will look at the ignition. So that's it for now and then uh, on the next video we will visit the mag plate. Thanks for watching.